Hi, welcome back. My brain error. And I hope you all had lovely holidays. I hope you enjoyed yourself and you felt loved and warm and got all the things that you wanted. If not, as always, my love is with you. And we are continuing The Dark Side Detective Season 2. Fumble in the Dark. Case Ghosts of Christmas Past. And we are dead. We killed McQueen. Well, I killed McQueen. And we are here with Charles Dickens, who's the Reaper. Who I gave this voice, I believe. Which is not, <laughs> not the way Charles Dickens sounds. Um, and we have to get... Uh, what was this one called? I saw Skinburn. No, what was this one called? The sun is on the far side of the hill. Just going to make it very hard for these rays ever to shine on the tomb. Right, so we have to get the sun to shine on the tomb so they will let us in the tomb, which means that Charles, as the Reaper, can take this guy that wants this thing done um, in the Neanderthal time, uh, take him to the other side, and which means we can go into the tomb where the other portal is that we need to change the ticket system. So. Uh, the earthly plane can stop being flooded by all these spirits. Anyway, it's a long story. Just check out part one. It was yesterday, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. And um, yeah, let's see if we can we can get the sun to shine here. Now you see the dilemma. A uh, sorry dilemma. We should just make a life of things here. We could be happy. We've got each other for company. I'm not giving up that easily. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a light source and a race platform to fake the sun's light and angle. Easy. Right, well we've got this. Can this go on the stone? Another suggestion. Why? Yule log. Okay. Can we go on the standing stone? That stone makes standing look so easy. You're struggling because you're drunk. Give me a break, I'm literally legless. <laughs> I know protagonist when I see one. Lead the way. Okay, we'll go elsewhere. We'll go this way then. But... Hmm, can we go this way? No, we can only go up here. So, I've no idea what to do. Maybe the Yule's log. Oh, give that to the caveman. Oh no. Give it to Yule? Well, what do you want me to do? Go into the other rift again? Oh, there's more, more open. I didn't know that. Right. Well, I've opened the rest of these portals for you. There's more, of course. Billions of them. One for every moment through time. Why was one open in the first place? Well, this is the normal way we travel. We have portals for every moment and every ear in time. Sorry, era. <coughs> I took a back way because I did. I don't have the answer to you. I'm the Reaper. You're the soul. Back off. But this room must have sensed I was inside at a time, so it opened the portal. It's smart sites. They lock souls, open portals, record our calorie intake, and send us IM notifications from work. It's a nightmare, really, getting messages at all hours from the European and Chinese Reapers. Okay, so we can go prehistoric era, yellow rift, green rift, indigo. God, this is gonna take forever. Okay, let's go into the yellow. Oh, when is this? When America was first discovered, Vikings landed there during the Great Migration period around 1000 AD, by mistake. This isn't them, this is like the second, third time Vikings landed. A less significant event. Up to the boats. What's a boat, especially what looks like a viking boat doing on the hill? Ah, ghost viking. Hello, fellow dead. Um, hey, so, uh, what happened here? Ha ha ha, it's a funny story, actually. We were out vikinging about, you know, looking for mo monasteries to raid and lost sheep to plunder. And when this rude storm came out of no place, it sucked the ship right out of the water and spun us for the longest time. Of course, for me it did not feel so long. This ore stabbed me in the livables. <laughs> when ghost me woke up, we were here. Wherever here is. Not that it matters to me. I presume you and that hungover looking man are here to take me to Valhalla? Well, yes, but in a more real and important way, no. Don't listen to him. A designated uh, Valhalla Knight will be with you soon. We're here to uh, catalog your ore. 
since it killed such a mighty warrior. Oh, uh, here you go then. Uh, I'll just wait here for the Valkyrie to come, so... Yes, Valkyrie! That's the word I meant. <laughs> nice. So we've got an ore, so we can attach that to the primitive tool, right? No? Oh, fuck you then. Can we have a shield? To think, all these shields and they did nothing to protect us from the storm. Hmm. Can I have rotting wood? Pile the sky rotting wood. That's the kind of thing I can make use of. The wood is floating away! Well, not when Hildegard is on guard. On guard! Damn it! I guess someone would. I need to get rid of her. You could try... Try, try trading her some sheep. Uh, would you like a Yule dog? Okay, would you like a primitive tool? Okay, well, fuck you, man. Bust the drum. It got bashed in the storm. A shame, really. The chief, the chief loves a good drum circle. I wonder if there's anything we can do to fix the broken one. I won't let the wind blow this away a second time. Her. She's stopping me from taking him. I need to distract her if I want it. Do I want a broken drum that badly? Yes. Uh, sail. The mast is strong through the whole thing. I don't mind saying. I did a fine job with it. Of course, it had snapped. We'd have not been sucked into that freak vortex and dropped in this strange new land. It is very nice, Master. <laughs> you are admiring the chief's mighty wooden goose, yes? It is okay to feel intimidated. We cannot all stick massive docks on the front of our longships. If it were so simple, we'd all be chiefs. Hole in ship. The ship looks like it's pretty bad order. Can we fix it? Right, so... We can't do anything. Ooh, the moon. How did you get back here? <laughs> uh, the moon. Um, animal skins. They seem to be mapping out the stars on these animal skins. Cool. Fire. I guess it's nice being a ghost and not feeling the cold. But then you can't enjoy drying off and warming yourself up by roaring fire, sir. It's a good night for mapping the stars, Cheyenne. We honor our ancestors by recording their place in the cosmic spiderweb. We should honor them by living in the present, not by recording the past. Child, don't make me build some steps so I have somewhere to send you on a timeout. Aww. So, we need to come back here. It's gonna be a fetch quest. Green Rift. Green Greeny. Those fun hats suggest we're visiting the Puritans. Yeah, kill all the witches, I guess. Oh, kitty! Why does your cat only have one eye? It got poked out of my pointy hat. It's okay though. Gives him a more mystical vibe. Bridget. Oh, yay! I get this reference. <laughs> Climb hill. Oh, what is this? Termite mound. What's a termite mound doing up here? Where did it come from? Termites, presumably. <laughs> Can we hit it? Can we hit it with the primitive tool? Oh, oh, sorry. Fine, I'll go back down. Can I go back down? Yeah. Uh, cauldron. What's in here now? This is a special winter brew, traveler. One in which the milk from a cow, the egg from a chicken, and the brandy I stole from a house party are mixed together. Lost and pitiful boy, take this glass so its heat can warm your stray soul and dairy can coat your heart. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's eggnog. Yes, the knock of an egg. That is a better name than I had come up with. Raw egg slime. Now with only 54% chance of salmonella. Well, now if you're in the UK. She does make us feel uneasy. 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 I just mean dustly. <laughs> <laughs> Me dustly, for she weareth the vibrant colors of the old festive season and sings merry folk song and... Can't... Can't we just... Dislike her for being a woman folk and dispense with ugly excuses. Nah, brother, we must be wagging our finger and vocal in our condemnation of her happiness and cheer. Tis ungodly to find joy in the supposed birthday of the Son of God. Aye, it so happens that she be female, but that is subtext. <laughs> Better we keep her down with a confusing moral stance and any words of truth. Alright, can we hit them over the head? Okay. Can we give them a Yule Log? Oh, can we give an eggnog to the cat? 
No. Can we go in the hut? Does your hut have chicken legs? <gasps> no, not chicken legs. They are far more troublesome legs of a goose. Oh. What's the name of the house? Domus Mactabilis. Okay, so there's nothing useful here. Unless I put the Yule log in the cauldron. Alright. Can I drink this? Fine. Why do you not want to drink ancient eggnog? Uh, Puritan times indigo red. This looks to be the Gilded Era. Home sweet home. Sort of, I mean... We're only five to six hundred miles off. We're practically there. <laughs> Factory, whatever they make in there, it's pumping out the thickest blackest smoke. I think it's actually a <gasps> smoke factory. Very popular in my day. <laughs> this looks like the same uh, place where we have our uh, little rift in the first place. Oh, little ratty. That rat is waving a knife at me. You see? Gingerbread house. Oh, father, I hope that one day we can afford a real house. This one is sticky and doesn't keep the damp out. At least we have the rats to keep us warm. We'll need those rats, son. I've bad news. The wall has caved in. I've tossed some behind the house in the hopes it attracts more rats to cuddle. I'm going to take that, but only in the hopes of using it makes people's lives better. Sure. But I'm serious. Look, buddy, we've all told ourselves lies to justify stealing someone's gingerbread wall. But you're not better than me. You'll be in, you'll be in your pants at 3 a.m. dunking that kid's house into some warm milk. I'm gonna make their lives better, you'll sob, as you spill milk onto your naked chest. You disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we can put that in the eggnog. Oh, fuck you then. What do you wanna do? Um, oh, old buckets. I have a bucket shaped hole in my coat that needs filling. Oh, you actually do? <laughs> Alright. Small for his age, Sam. I wish there were kids a video game that m had health packs all over the place. I feel ever so sickly. I gave you a different voice, too. Um, so we can't go to the fact Christmas bells. Can we take. That has too many notes. Let's see what we can do to fix it. Received copper bells. Nice. That sounds more like the Christmas jingles I know. Alright, there's nothing else here. Can't go there. Can we give them... They want something healthy, right? Can we give him the eggnog? Well, why not? Can we give him a yule log? <sighs> Can we give eggnog to the rat? Why not? Can put eggnog in the bucket. Well, I don't know then. Alright, let's go to the last one. Violet Rift. Oh, this is the switchboard. See? That's what I meant, the switchboard. Yeah, yeah. Back before it was lined up for demolishi demolishing. Mm, everything is where it should be. It's nice to see the old place again. Oh, you have a strong history with this place? Oh no, I was here once a year ago. Never knew it existed before that. Mmm, van. A hippie van. That's a Volkswagen. I should check it for narcotics. Sadly, there's nothing. <laughs> it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I did find this neat torch. Now it was mostly the best of times. It's broken, however. And we're back to being mostly worst times. Okay, so we've got a broken torch. Oh, that kind of torch. I was for something, some reason I was thinking of a fuckle. Um, and, and a handheld torch, like a wooden torch. Switchboard. Doesn't look at all that different before it was pulled apart. Transceiver. This little fella caused me a lot of trouble earlier this year. It will cause me trouble in the future. Not sure which is correct, both? Damn, tra da damn time travel. Can we not take it? Toad machine. Why is this machine filled with toads? Where else would you get them? Wait, do you have a toad guy? Can you hook me up? Oi, keep your hands to yourself. Oh, why am I not allowed to touch you? <laughs> I hope this works. I found this ritual in a book in the library. Okay, ritual file. Looks like they're trying to perform a ritual. 
So how exactly are we going to summon the Festus spirit? What? It's an abstract person personification of a collective human ideal, Derek, not a cat. Well, when my cat goes missing, I get its favorite things together and I put them outside. The smell usually helps her find her way home. Again, not a cat. I think he's onto something though. We can bring together the elements of the season. Maybe we can lure it in here. Can we say some magic words? Derek, we're summoning a thing. Of course we're going to say some magic words. God! So, what are the elements of the season? I guess stuff you'd associate with the holidays? I bet there's five elements, cause you know, panagrams. I mean, we don't have anything better to go on, but this seems like a very random guess. Intuition. A fair point. Right, so Eknok. Eknok, which represents... Bad choices? Sort of. Gathering for drinks, which often lead to bad choices. The dark side detective, me, wants to clarify that people can meet for coffee, hot chocolate, tea, water, sodas, and a whole range of non-alcoholic drinks, too. Preferably that. I think I need to add more seasonable elements to the fire. Yeah, so we got the Yule log. Yule's log, which represented his faith. I think I need to add more seasonal elements. So we've got the bells. Another suggestion like that and- oh, no really? Uh, gingerbread then. This piece of gingerbread house which represents two things. Food, which is a staple of gatherings. It also represents that gingerbread is a poor building material. I think I need to add more seasonal things. Well, we don't have anything else. We've got an old bucket, copper bells, and seeds. Um, what's up in the roof? Oh! Antenna? This is a moon ray, I take it, to transport oneself there and back? No, no, that doesn't exist. Not yet, maybe. Wait, will it? Will what? This gallows uh, is very uh, strange looking. I see the appeal though. The hanging here would be visible for miles. We don't do that anymore. What? What do you do with criminals? We usually send them into politics or business. Mostly politics. Telescope. It's in use right now. You could possess them. Is that something I can do? You're a ghost. You've already mastered the politic guys the art of stealing things. This is just another skill. And it's safe? For you. Hmm. Okay, uh, Can I bell them? Can I hit the cell light dish? Um. Go back outside then, I guess. Oh! Excuse me? Has anyone seen the packet of acorns I brought for the offering? Nope. Not me. I brought some chocolate raisins, if that's any help. Derek, would you listen to yourself for God's sake? I fear I have been robbed. Perhaps this is the sign I sought. Yes, this is it. I feel it in my adorable bushy tail. From now on I shall no slave away all summer gathering nuts for the winter. I shall become a master thief and take whatever nuts I want. Thank you, mystery person who stole my nuts. You have given me purpose. <laughs> oh no, we made him into a thief? Oh, why did he go upstairs? Why did he go upstairs? I'm just gonna check. Oh, he's not here anymore. Okay. So we made Merle into a... <sighs> a thief. Alright. And there's nothing in the van. Okay, let's go back into the rift. Um. Oh, we didn't go into the red rift. Oh, I see. I thought we came from a red rift, so I didn't go in there. Is this the Jurassic era? Whose souls are we reaping here? Dinosaurs are people too. That's not true. Oh, well that would explain why I didn't have to come here much. Dinosaur! Where are this dragon's wings? This is no dragon, it's a brachiosaur. Fine, Jonathan signs me. Where are these brachiosaurus wings? Looks like Yule and Bongo will have a lot of work ahead of them, but also sort of behind them. Oh, mulch! The ground here is damp, warm and soft. It's crawling with insects. Let's put some seeds in them. No? 
Can I use the Viking ore to mulch? Uh, can I take it in the old bucket? Then what the fuck do you want from me? Primitive tool? Dinosaur graveyard? <gasps> Look at the size of that! You could fit an orphanage in there. Yeah, what can I do? Dirt! The soil here seems very fertile. That's because the dinosaur's remains. Can, can I put the acorns in there then? Dig them a little. You misspelled hole. I said what I said, Charles. God, I missed it. Can I dig it with this? I can use this ore to dig a hole here. So what was the other one about? Put some acorn seeds in there. This should lower the carbon footprint of all this time travel stuff. What about some bells? Fine. Oh, swamp lands. I didn't know. Oh, oh, so cute. Adorable. Stone toys. They're using these stones as rudimentary toys. I'm taking one. Dooley will think this is adorable. At least he will before he comes to his sense and tells me dinosaurs never existed. Baby dinosaur. Oh, this guy looks like somebody I know. Hi, Proto Nigel. <laughs> Look at all these dino babies having fun. Oh, they're so cute. Right, so we got a toy. I still... Don't... Oh. N N Nigel? <gasps> ah, we're making everything happen. The sun's back. It's not as bright as it is when it's older. Same as the rest of us, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to do with this yet. I'm gonna go back. So now we've got everything. Um... Prehistoric era. There's nothing I can do there yet. Let's go back to recent history and put the toy on there. This rudimentary toy symbolizing friends and family and play. I think I need to add more seasonal elements. Yeah, one more. I don't know what though. It didn't want me to put the bells on there, so... Um... Turn of the first millennium? Yes. So is, do I have anything now? Oh, she's gone. Oh. It got bashed in the storm. A shame, really. The chief loves a good drone circle. Mm, I wonder if there's anything we can do to fix the broken one. Now that the guard is off chopping wood, I can take it and see. Alright, can we take uh, this rotting wood as well? Oh, they're fixing the boat, look. I can take this now, it's unguarded. You can, but do you really want to? I do. Holding ship. Hey, they're using wood from the forest I planted to repair their boat. I have no idea how they'll get it back to water though. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we've got the drum. Um, How are we gonna fix that? The Viker's drum broken in their voyage. And I don't use the wood on it right now. I didn't think so. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> what do you say about the Vikings? If these are Vikings, we are their horny helmets. Do you want to rephrase that at all? Nope. <laughs> and these wanted... They, they were just reminiscing, right? Hey, slightly chopped trees. I can see somebody's already chopping down the trees. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Right, so we got the drums. Do we need to fix the drum? Uh, so that was the turn of the first millennium. What's the Puritan times? What did they want? Oh, where's everybody gone? I don't know. Can we go in the hut? Honk, honk. Shut up, dumb. I'm in charge now. Honk. Cat. Hey, kitty, kitty. Don't hate kitty kitty me. I'm an archduke of hell. What? Um, meow? Uh, oh, climb hill. What's this? Oh no, they're burning her at the stake. Oh crap. Well, they've built a pyre. Greetings, travelers. You can see us? Oh, well, these folk aren't planning to burn me because I smell of patchouli. That atop all my festive celebrations, they've never had the festive spirit. We're too much for them. So they've built this pyre merrily, I might add, from the forest that's always been over there. And here we are. Please feed my cat and house, but not one to another. Oh. 
Noble fellows, this woman doth be accused of celebrating merriment and mirth and Christmas as a whole. And she... Can she not sit in her home waiting for the spring to come so that she may be miserable and judgmental whilst being a few degrees warmer? This noggeth egg of hers brings warmth, doth it? Well, if she liketh warmth so much, mayhaps she'll enjoy being set on fire. I can save you the hassle and tell you I wouldn't like that at all. Mm. What if we put a bucket over his head? What if we chop him? What if we chop this? Okay. Um, don't know what to do to rescue her. Uh, let's we'll see if I, I can do something about that. What's in the cauldron? No, I was lucky to avoid the salmonella the first time. I don't fancy a double or nothing bad. Good, you're too transparent. I don't want to see that stuff worm its way out in either direction. <laughs> Alright, so nothing? Um, so that was that. Gilded Age. Uh, what's this looking like? Hey, look at the trees! An oak forest has sprung up. I say sprung up, but it took millions of years to grow. Yeah, so... Hey, wait. So I can't go to it, right? No. Huh. Do I put that in the mulch? If it's infested? Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted, sorry. It's the Jurassic era I want to be. Because that's mulchy. Do I put that in there? I'll put this infested wood here and hopefully the termites will make a platform that I can use to trick the sun's light from in the future. Oh. Okay. Do we put the torch on it? <laughs> well, why not? I want the torch on it. So has it? Oh yeah! The termite mound is tall enough to shine a light from. So can we put this here? I need to power this up first. Yeah, so how do I do that? Huh. How do I power you? Ooh, glass case. In case of rogue soul, break glass. What's this for? Rescue a spirit containment unit. Last thing you want is a random spirit loose in the halls. Alright. Can we break it? <laughs> you received spirit containment unit. So, do I put that in the torch? No? Hmm. Can I put death in it? No. Oh, can I put myself in it? <laughs> um. Oh. Yes, of course. It's a bit disrespectful, but it's the only way that I can think of. I'm just gonna lean this over here and hope they spot it. Oh, so they'll fix it. Cheyenne, did you bring a broken drum with you? No, you told me to leave my drum at home and focus on the sky. Besides, bring a broken drum sounds like a pointless thing to have done. Yet there is a broken drum beside you, eh? Nah, that's not mine. It's got weird markings all over it. I only have cool eagles and walls etched into mine. Kids today. If it is not yours, then perhaps it is a gift from the bearded man who think boats go on land. It's broken though. Not a great gift. Cheyenne, they don't know how boats work. Don't expect too much from them. Eyes. Come, let us fix it for them. Aww. What do you think of these truly sick beats? Well, the drum certainly is mended. Oh! <laughs> that sounds like my drum. It is my drum. And you're rocking out with it. Hi. You may be wondering... What in the flaming F is going on? Well, I can tell you. It'll be nothing new. It's something that's plagued me ever since I started doing this. OBS kept crashing and crashing and crashing and crashing. It's now crashed up to a total of six times. I've got lovely segments of video of like five minutes, two minutes, ten minutes long. And um, because it kept crashing, I forgot to press record on the very last time. Which meant that that whole section, I could have replayed the entire case to get back to where it was with inconsistencies or just continue from where we are now. 
So I decided to continue from where we are because I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was the better option than having to go through all of it again and losing my enthusiasm for it. Which has nothing to do with this case because it's really lovely. It's just to do with my equipment. Anyway, hopefully it will behave now. And um, we can uh, finish this. So in short, uh, I think where we left off was we gave the drum to the Native Americans and they um, fixed it, which brought the Vikings to them and um, which gave us music, a sheet of music. Um, uh, the Vikings joined them in, in song and, then, and in play and we got a sheet of music, which was the last item we needed for the ritual fire. And then the ritual fire uh, basically summoned the spirit of, uh, well, the Christmas, Christmas spirit, which we captured. We then gave to the Puritans, which stopped them from trying to kill the witch. The witch then lived <laughs> so long that she ended up in the Gilded Era, which made the Gilded Era not poor and miserable anymore. Um, she started a brewery instead of that horrible smoke factory and they had a nice house. Um, did she give us something? I can't remember. Oh yes, she gave us zinc because you need that in the production of alcohol apparently. So that combined with the copper bells and salty water from the swamp from the dinosaur era um, made a makeshift battery in a bucket so we could light the torch and put the torch on the termite mound to shine into the cave. And now Charles Dickens and the, the ghosts from the, uh, the caveman era um, are here and we're trying to fix this machine so it can uh, we're now in, in the uh, the other side of the office where we wanted to be like a while ago um, in the in the in the afterlife so we can change the ticket machine so we are here trying to fix the ticket machine I explained that very poorly but if you watch the first half you will know what I mean <laughs> with this garble gook um, I kind of lost the will a little bit but I will try my very best we are going to fix this <laughs> <laughs> oh, just keep swimming. Looks like each number is made up from three segments. I just need to find the right combination to move the display onto number three, three, two, four. Okay. Ah, like that. Interesting. Okay. Three, two, four. Oh. Okay. Oh, three, two, almost. Oh, that was so close. Oh, oh the three's gone. Oh, yeah, I got it. That should be the display updated. Please, please, please. So this is the uh, the place that I meant the uh, <laughs> the office, where they had a very, very heavy kind of night of uh, boozing and festivities. The display has moved forward. The next ghost in line can be processed. After the holidays, you mean? After the... Oh. It looks like things largely worked out for old Chucks. Unless you won't tell anyone, will you, about my screw-up? Hmm, maybe we can strike a deal. Oh, cute. I hope you don't mind the extra mouths to feed. They had nowhere else to go. And when you brought all these guests home, I wasn't sure we'd have enough food for everyone. Thankfully, this house was built on an old abattoir, so there are enough turkey ghosts to go around. <laughs> oh my god, ghost turkeys! Detective, I can't thank you enough. This is not exactly what you wanted, but it's something. I can't live forever, detective. Being able to come back for the holidays to see McGarry and Geroyan means the world to me. Anyway, I best go spend what time I have with them before the office opens and I moved on. Have a good one. Oh, There's one thing I don't understand. Why didn't you just get the missing ticket from Gary and just give it to somebody who wanted to go home? You know, instead of going into this elaborate journey to fix a not broken time machine. Uh, machine. <laughs> Guys, you're not answering. Eat up, everyone. <laughs> oh, that's door left ajar. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so sorry about that 
that's that hiccup um, I do hope you enjoyed what I put out there. If you do want me to play the entire thing again, I am always happy to stream it so you can see what happened in that segment that got lost. It, it wasn't that much, but it was just the last bits that kind of tied everything together. So I'm really sorry about that. But I did really enjoy this, um, this case and the music was great and the humor was great and it was very elaborate. So let me know what you think as always. Again, happy holidays. I hope you had a lovely one and um, I will see you when I see you. <laughs>